Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your mid-month July Tarot and Oracle card reading. This is a reading for all Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will be our theme for today. From the Sacred Destiny Oracle card deck, you have the card of wisdom. Okay, something about that mermaid, if that's one of your spirit animals or you in some way feel a synchronicity towards that. There's great freedom there, isn't there? All right, we're going to consult the tarot for a detailed Celtic cross style reading today. What guidance do you have for Aries, please? What does Aries need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Aries? Okay, following the tarot, we'll have a couple of other oracle cards as well here. Your current situation, you've got the Queen of Swords, the immediate influence is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Swords is in your subconscious, the Moon is in the distant past, the Four of Wands in the more recent past, the Seven of Cups is coming towards you, you're represented by the Nine of Wands, you're attracting the Ace of Swords, you've got the Three of Cups in your hopes and fears. The fool is in the outcome. Now, I like that a lot. Talk about a big transition and a brand new beginning. This is wild. Okay, I, I got one more I got to get. We'll get back to that in a minute. I just got too shocked when I pulled these two off. We got one, two. How about zero, one, two? Okay, first three cards. You've got a new beginning here. This is dynamite. I just can't get over it. I just, it, there's something about this that almost gives me chills. Okay, those of you that are in the market for a new beginning, here you go. It's These are three of the most powerful turning point type of cards. This is transformational energy. So especially with the fool and the outcome. Now I've got to get the other card here that I was remiss with and just left that nine of pentacles behind. So we have four major arcana here. We've got Pisces here. Uh, we have technically we have all the elements due to the magician. We do have two knights. Knights always have good intentions. They come to get things done. And so if you're sick of waiting or you're in a place where it just seems like you have indecisive people around you, I feel like you finally have that decision coming in. Now, the energy of the magician is such a powerful energy. Mind your feelings. You know your feelings are the secret. They're like throwing miracle grow on your manifestations because that will supercharge them. And so with the magician, you're a magnet, you're a master manifester. And if it's a relationship that you're wondering about, you actually have a wedding and an engagement here. Um, but if you've been through the ringer, because you're represented as the nine of wands, we'll get to that later. I feel like you're kind of switching into a much easier time, especially with this nine of pentacles. She's the luxury card. She is a single lady too. And interestingly enough, so somebody left this really odd comment. And I, I thought it was strange, but I've never heard this in my 33 years of, of researching, reading, and loving the tarot, that the cards are actually, the fool is not the soul. The The whole deck is about the marriage between the, the fool and the high priestess. I've never heard that. This is the soul, okay? I'm, so I'm not, I'm not agreeing with that comment. But what I will tell you, okay, why this can be relevant or why that might have been relevant is... This this is something I've researched that the fool, pardon me, the fool is your soul. The magician is your conscious mind. This is where you realize you can create your own life. And this, the high priestess is the subconscious. Now, if the empress were here, which is number three, she she's believed to be the high priestess impregnated by the ideas of the magician. Okay, not literally, but you know. Anyway, I just had to give you that quick lesson because it made me think of that strange, strange comment. Um, so this is like you working with you to create and have things happen in your life. So if things have been stagnant and stuck, I feel like they're finally moving forward. You do have a love interest coming in here. And I'll tell you what, with the high priestess, I feel like it's going to be easy going. I feel like it's a mature relationship where you're not going to be so, you know, there, you're not two people, two beings coming in need. Okay, there's love there, yes, but it's easy. It's flowing love. And with that Nine of Pentacles, like I said, you may be attracting a lot of attention. You're definitely making gains with money. So with the um, the current situation, here's the decision time finally. 
the Queen of Swords, very decisive energy. And I feel like with this, and also too, this is what you're attracting, that you're going to have very clear communication. Because I feel like the thing that would drive you nuts almost the most besides the indecision is the confusing communication that feels like it's been behind the whole thing. Here's where things move forward in a much easier way. And if you have some issue in your life, I feel like you have a straightaway problem identified with an, an immediate solution. Even if it's on the mundane level, like you have a problem with your house or your car or something like that, it's like, oh, that was easy to take care of. Good. Let's put that behind us. Upright swords are always in your favor. So when you see that, know that life is going to get smoother. Now, that Knight of Wands wants to make things go, go, go. And it's very passionate energy. So if it is a relationship that you're talking about here or asking about, it's one that's going to be very straightforward. It might almost make you get just a little bit of cold feet. I get like this feeling of, okay, I wanted it straightforward, but this is really direct. Um, but I feel like really it's it's somebody who doesn't play games. I feel like they mean what they say. They say what they mean. They're here to just be in a place of evolution. Okay, they're here to mix it up with other beings. They're here to meet new people. Yes, they have feelings. Yes, they want to see where this is going to go. Um, but I do feel like with that Knight of Wands, again, that can be a very charming energy. And, and it, it almost feels like, that sort of sense of flare, uh, flattery that turns to just a hint of hesitation on what feels like your part. Okay, so if somebody kind of comes on strong, I feel like that may make you take a step back. And it's your life. I mean, if that's what you feel comfortable doing, right? It's sometimes we need that. Although it might make them chase you more. I'm just going to tell you that. With this Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords says, get out of my way. I'm going to take care of this. Let me handle this. Now, this is coming out of your subconscious. And what I would tell you with that to be a little careful of is when you have this, what it can do is then create situations where you're constantly in charge. And that seems okay until it's not, until it's tiring, until it seems like nobody's there to help you because you're always in charge. So we have to be careful with this one. He does get the job done, though. And some of you, too, you may say, no, I'm, I, it's worth the price of me being in charge to get this wrapped up and taken care of. With the Knight of Swords, it's also ultimately about getting the truth. So I definitely feel like you have the truth being coming out here. And if there has been some indecisive energy around you, there may be a, a reason revealed for it that will let you just kind of let go of the annoyance of it. Because um, nobody likes being, you know, being hung up and waiting on somebody else to figure things out. So with this, so it is, again, moving things forward at warp speed. So get ready, fasten your seatbelts, Aries, because it's going to be a wild ride. Now with the moon energy, here you go. Here's where more is revealed. And so I do feel like this is ultimately going to be a help. Now for some of you, this is somebody who keeps tabs on you. And it may not be a love reconciliation. It may just be somebody from the past, whether it's somebody you were childhood friends with or something like that, who's going to come forward. This is also a card that tells you there's more going on behind the scenes, more than meets the eye. So if there was a delay, I do feel like if it was a delay in some kind of financial transaction, it feels to me like they're, whoever you're dealing with, it has, was having some challenges that they didn't want to fully reveal. Um, and maybe it was a shortage of employees or something like that, because especially when you're running a business, you would think you'd want to take care of things quickly, right? Keep your customers happy. But ultimately, it's a card of unknown things. So trust your feelings, trust the universe when this one shows up. And know that things are moving in the right direction. Life is good, and yet there are things that you may not have fully known, okay, that I do feel like will come out. And then it'll be one of those times, too, where you might say, that makes a lot of sense. I was thinking, was it me? Was I overzealous? Was I overdoing this? No, I feel like there's just some hidden information, hidden aspects. It comes up, too, in that Seven of Cups. So the Four of Wands is a great card. It is a card of a firm foundation. And it is a card about the, the universe and your angels telling you things are moving forward in this 3D time-space reality. And so I feel like there's freedom here, freedom from bondage, freedom from, you know, being, again, held hostage by other people's timelines. And if it if it's a love relationship, like I told you before, this is a wedding, okay? So you may be, fo you may be attracting somebody who has a real sense of freedom about them. I feel like, too, if they've had some breakups... They're not hostile. They don't keep in real, they don't keep in touch with their exes. Not, not unless there'd be a good reason for it. This is not somebody that has, 
you know, their entire friend group is all exes. Absolutely not. Um, I feel like they're free of old relationships and they're kind of like, yeah, it just didn't, you know, didn't work out and they let it go. And they are a person who doesn't hold grudges, which I think you're going to enjoy about them. They do have a sharp, witty sense of humor. They may occasionally make some snide comments that are kind of comical, but I don't feel like it's in a malice. It's not in a sense of malice. And so that seven of cups, this bugaboo keeps showing up here. I do feel like with this, there may be something, like I said, where it's take off those rose-colored glasses. If something seems like it should have been taken care of, it's there's more going on here is how I get it that's causing this. So I feel like, too, it may just be some follow-up. You know, you're represented by the emperor. Aries is represented by the emperor in the major arcana, and he's discipline and order. So we might need a little dose of that in this whatever this is if it's a person too who's who's being indecisive in a love relationship i don't get a strong feeling about that but if it was or it is you may find you have somebody else coming in who's not going to be indecisive and you may decide i'm going to go with the one who can make up their mind i don't really need to be strung along here so we got a little bit of a strung along bedraggled nine of wands this represents you so you might need to take a break, go out to a beach, get yourself a little inexpensive beach chair, go over to Publix or Walmart or somewhere, get yourself a $9.99 chair and go sit down somewhere. With this energy though, it is about attainment ultimately. So we had the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you paid your dues with something. You paid the price of contrast here. And it's about coming out on the other side of this. So he wears that bandage because he has a psychic wound. So like I said, I feel like the hidden aspects in this reading are have kind of done a number on, on you maybe mentally. I mean, at least temporarily or did a number on you and not done. Let's say that they did and now we're coming out of that. So I do feel like something that wasn't very clear is going to be cleared up and this also too with this is information okay it's communication information that's going to make this make a lot more sense so again it feels like it was more in the financial realm if it's somebody who's been indecisive in a relationship i feel like you are going to cut ties to them it's like aries is a mighty beautiful wonderful sign if you're not going to go towards that then maybe that's just not a match but ultimately, with this, it is about setting new goals. It's about a new chapter, a new cycle, and it moves forward easily. Okay, that wielding that sword will get the job done. Now, that Three of Cups energy is an engagement card. It's a card of reunions, but it's mainly about celebration, these dancing ladies. So it's a card, too, that reminds us to appreciate what we have. And sometimes when there's a delay in something, sometimes we'll find that the timing is a little better for us anyway. Where you go, if that would have happened then, I wouldn't have been able to leave for the weekend. If I would have gotten that job then, I wouldn't have had the time off. So I guess that worked, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, so I feel like all good things, nothing's wasted in God's economy. There's something good out of that delay. And so with the full energy, here's where everything moves forward. This is like a crisp summer morning. It's waking up, getting up, Folgers in the cup. You're ready to take on the world. Anything new that you begin with this, you're going to say, this is it. I feel like this is exactly where I should be in this moment in time. In relationships, I mentioned before, it's a card of adventure. It's a card of freedom. And it's a card of somebody who loves to get out and explore. They're easy to be around. And like I said, they don't carry a bunch of old baggage. They've learned what they've needed to from it and they're ready to move forward. So let's see now. We're going to consult first with the Fortune Oracle. And then we'll hear from the Whispers of Love. So you have, the, you have double moon. You have the card of the moon here. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently okay so the intuition the energy is showing up here reminding us and this is from the whispers of love consider your foundation look at how committed you are to love so if you're again not bringing it in and if you say no i'm the seven of cups it's me that's going back and forth then we got to get clear about it get clear about what you want set your intentions and know it's available to you because there's no limit in this universe Good things are on the way for you, Aries. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.